One of the coolest new features in Mixcraft 6 is the ability to import your own sounds into the loop library. What I'm going to do is click the library tab. As you can see, the library selected is all, sorting by song kit. And if I select all, you can see there are 6,335 loops that came with Mixcraft already in the library. Let's say I have my own that I'd like to import. And just to show you, I have this folder on my desktop. It's called Downloaded Sounds. And within that folder are a bunch of other subfolders that contain the sounds. I'm going to click the Import button, and then I'm going to Browse. On my computer's desktop is where that folder was. Here we are, Downloaded Sounds and that's going to import to the imported library. You could type your own name in there. I'm going to leave that as imported. And here we are selecting to import sounds less than two minutes long. You can set that one, two, three, or four minutes. You can also choose to import all sounds or import sounds more than one, two, three, or four minutes long. I'm going to choose to import all sounds, even though most loops are going to be fairly short. I don't want to skip any of the sounds that are in that folder. As for file types, I know there are multiple types within those folders, so I'm going to select all of these types. And the default song kit is going to be imported, or you can choose any of the others. And Mixcraft will guess the style, tempo, key, and instrument unless you uncheck. Copy sounds to library folder. What this is going to do is copy the sounds from the original folder into the Mixcraft library folder. If you don't choose to do this and later you rename, move, or delete that original folder that the sounds were imported from, they will no longer be available within Mixcraft. So I'm going to choose to copy the sounds to the library folder. I'm also going to choose to preserve the folder structure when copying rather than copying them all into the same folder because I'm a folder structure kind of guy. Let's hit import and we'll be back when this is finished. And it's finished. 2,822 sounds imported. One file skipped due to your import settings. Zero sounds were already in the database. And we're in the imported library. As you can see, all and imported. 2,822. So if I double click one of these, there it is for use. We have all kinds of different sounds that I've imported. Let's see if we can find a... Uh, there we go. All you have to do is drag that up into one of the tracks. And there's your loop. And if you drag out the end, it shows you that it is a loop. That one doesn't necessarily loop perfectly, but let's try one of these other ones. Let's drag that up there. This sound is in a different tempo than your project. For the very best in sound quality, would you like to change your project tempo to match the sounds? Sure. And let's see if we drag this out and loop it, if it sounds perfect like it should. Here's our loop point. Yes, it does. Another way you can import loops is to record something like a guitar and then import that into your loop library. So let's record something real quick on a guitar. Okay, now that that's recorded, take a quick listen. Now what we're going to want to do is loop this. So I'm going to need to trim the 
beginning and the end. And if I double click the object, it takes me to the sound tab where I can edit the loop start. Use my mouse wheel and zoom in. Bring that right up to the front. And do the same thing with the loop end. I'll guess that's about right there. And notice that we now have a loop point. And if I play this, we'll see if it loops correctly. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. So I'll right click on this and choose Add to Library. And I can either type in a new library name or use an uh, existing one. And I will use the recorded sounds that I created earlier. In the def default song kit, you can also type in your own default song kit name, which I will type in Guitar. And apply track effects when adding. And apply clip envelope when adding. If you have added effects to the recording on the track or edited the the envelope like the volume or the panning and you want to include that in the library loop that you that you add select these two boxes if not deselect them and there it is right there and I'm going to want to rename that call that guitar 03 click stop editing and I'll double click on it so now we have a brand new guitar loop that we've created ourselves there it is can loop that out as many times as I want to and that is how you add your own loops to the Mixcraft 6 library thanks for watching